Fall River police are searching for whoever's responsible for a heartless theft. More than $20,000 of equipment stolen from a band's storage trailer. Iowa News News reporter Eric Halperin spoke to the band's conductor and a member. He has the details on how the band is dealing with the loss. Eric. Mike and Shannon, the band is asking the community to keep an eye out for the instruments that were taken from them. And in the meantime, they're borrowing some instruments from other groups and doing anything they can to make sure the show goes on. Some storage shelves for the St. Cecilia Philharmonic Band are empty. The instruments that usually fill the space have been stolen. This equipment that's, that, that's missing has taken uh, many years to, uh, to accumulate. According to conductor Peter Kamara, everything from this drum set, other instruments, to the sound system were taken out of the band's locked trailer overnight last Saturday into Sunday. The trailer was in the parking lot behind the band's headquarters, packed for a morning performance. This is huge. This is, this is huge. Uh, we're doing our best to recover. For any community group, the toughest thing is to replace capital investments like instruments. The band is volunteer-based. Last weekend, they still managed to put their performances on. It was hard to get into, into the groove, but we did. And not everything taken is easy to put a dollar amount on. The box that was full of the group's sheet music is also gone, so hours have been put into making the folders again. It may not mean much to folks, uh, but this, there's no value amount you can put on all this work. The band has performances scheduled throughout the summer. They don't know when they'll be able to get their own instruments, but some have been loaned to them. And as they say... The show must go on and we get knocked down, but we're not staying down. We're coming back up. And Fall River Police are still investigating to help raise money for new instruments. The band has a fundraiser coming up on August 10th. Live in studio, I'm Eric Alperin, Eyewitness News.